Hi everybody, in this short lesson I'm going to show you some useful phrases and expressions for writing formal emails. Welcome back to English for Professionals. I'm Derek and I'm here with another short lesson for you busy people. Before we get started, just a quick reminder to subscribe to my channel hit the red button and click on the little bell and don't forget to join my email list. Every two weeks I send out my free vocabulary email with additional business English, words from the news and everyday English for you to learn. The link is in the description below so go and check it out. And now let's get started with the lesson. Useful phrases for formal emails. Let's start with greetings. My first tip is always use miss and not missus when writing to a woman in a professional context. So write dear Miss Jones and not dear Mrs. Jones. And when writing to a man, simply write dear Mr. In formal emails, we always use the surname. So if the person's name is Mary Franklin, don't write dear Miss Mary or dear Miss Mary Franklin, write dear Miss Franklin. And if you don't have the name of the person you're writing to because the email address starts with info or office, then write Dear Sir slash Madam. For some emails, you'll need to introduce yourself and follow the simple structure in this sentence with name, job title and company. If you know the person you're writing to a little bit but still have a formal relationship, you can start with a friendly opening by saying something like I hope everything is going well or I hope you had a nice Christmas. Now let's look at some phrases you can use to refer to the last contact you had. It was lovely meeting you at the sales conference last week or it was nice talking to you on the phone earlier or thank you for your mail last week. Another important part of formal email writing is to state the reason for your email. And we have different possibilities. Phrases like, I am writing in connection with, I am writing with regard to, and so on. Another typical email function is to give information. And a very simple way to do that is to use the phrase, I would like to inform you about. Then we have attachments. Another tip here, don't write I have enclosed in an email. We only use that for letters when we send additional documents with a physical letter. For emails, we always say attached. And the simplest way to do this is to write I have attached. Next we come to making a request. So here we have some different options. Could you please let me know if? I would appreciate it if you could. Would it be possible to? When making arrangements, one of the most common phrases we use is I was wondering if you. Or would 10 a.m. be a suitable time? Or I am afraid I'm not available on Wednesday. Would Thursday work? If you want to confirm something, simply write, I would like to confirm. And if you want to refer to a question that the person had in a previous email, you can use examples like this. And now we come to the end of the email, the closing lines. And sometimes we want to offer more communication. So a typical way to do this would be to write, if you need, or require any further information, please feel free or please do not hesitate to contact me. Then we sometimes want to refer to the next meeting. The most common way to do this is I look forward to. And another tip here, always use an ing form after I look forward to. I look forward to seeing you, meeting you, hearing from you and so on. And finally, the most common way to close a formal email, best regards. So that brings us to the end of another short lesson. As always, all the phrases and expressions are listed in the description below. 
Let me know in the comments if you have any other examples and also if there's any other business English topic you'd like me to cover in an upcoming lesson. If you like the lesson, hit the like button and share with your friends and colleagues. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done that already and join my email list. Every two weeks, I send out my free vocabulary email with additional business English, words from the news and everyday English for you to learn. The link is in the description below. Thanks a lot for watching and see you soon.